you know, just doing all those things growing up, being in musicals and, and singing in those festivals and stuff, and that prepared me for the audition. And the thing is, I always wanted to do pop music, but I was doing it on the side in bands, but I wasn't really recording anything or putting anything out. But that was always at the back of my head going, this is what I want to be doing. And I thought, well, musical theater in at AMDA in New York would be a perfect place for me to go for school because at least I know I'm continuing to sing and dance and act and I'll be in New York. So, I mean, who knows who I could meet there? Um, so that kind of set me up for that. When I was coming back from New York uh, on break from the school I was going to, mm -hmm. I would sing some of my songs that I wrote on my guitar because I had, had learned how to play. And I was singing them at coffee houses and things like that. And this friend of mine had heard me and he reached out to me and he said, listen, I'm in Montreal and I'm taking um, engineering, music engineering uh, in Montreal. And I really would like to record you your songs and, and some of the stuff you've been writing. And I was like, yeah, that, that would be a great idea. That's amazing. That's exactly what I'd love to do. Nice. So I ended up going from AMDA to Montreal. And then we started recording this demo yeah. and one of his friends came in and ha had heard about three or four of the songs and his friend had just started his own label. Okay. And so he, he liked it and he offered me a contract actually after hearing my songs that's it right there your first one i know so that was the breaking point right there like not the breaking point like in a in a, in a good way yeah, yeah <laughs> like yeah. the breakthrough I should yeah say. um that was the breakthrough and so at 19 18 19 i was offered my first recording contract wow of course i had i didn't know anything about the legal part, right. but i ended up signing it and i did my first album which was called deluge um, why, why that and, title? Sorry, why that title? Yeah, you know, I had all of these these issues and things that had been building up okay. um, throughout my life that I felt like I just needed to release all at the same time. It was just like a deluge mm. of water, like like it was like a flood of all these things that I was feeling, and so that's why I ended up calling the album Deluge because it was just it was so many things coming out that I needed to get out um yeah so that's where that started but uh, but then of course some bad things happened with that label and it didn't quite go as well as i was expecting mm -hmm. um it was very good in a lot of ways though i did a music video i shot it at casa loma my first music video was shot at casa loma wow um, and it was aired on much music went back when we had much music um and they had like the indie spotlight and all that it was wow. on there wait was it like um, Mas master p era yeah yeah wow. like master p era like, we're like i'm talking like that era yes like, um and so i was on there i did some interviews uh you know we started start things started going really well with that um but then unfortunately things didn't work out with the label there's a lot of shady dealings yeah. and i learned a lot about the legal side of mm. things just about the business yeah um, now looking back i look at it in a very positive way because it was an, a learning experience yeah. for me yeah um but then I came to Toronto and I was like, I, I want to go this alone. Like I have to keep doing this and I don't have a budget now and I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. But I said, I'm going to keep going. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. I know this in my heart. Um, so I came here to Toronto and I started doing acting and modeling gigs on the side to make money as I was doing songs. And I got ripped off a lot from a lot of people. Wow. A lot of producers ripped me off and promised me things. And I went through a lot of that. Wow. Um, but then eventually I found these people that were in Florida, actually. And then I got right, I got back up on, on the horse again, yeah. like really seriously. And then it started to take off again. So yeah. when you left that school mm. and you went to Montreal, did you end up going back or that was it? Because the deal happened and so you figured that's it. I don't need to go back and finish the school or what was that process? Yeah. I mean, th that school was only for a few years. And so I had okay. gone for about a year and then I realized like, I don't really want to do musical theater as a career. I just didn't know where to go yeah. after high school. I mean, I love musical theater and I would still do it. Mm -hmm. But really what I wanted, and I knew in the back of my head what it was, is I want to do pop. I want to be a radio yeah. singer. Yeah. I want to sing. I, I want to, that's what I want. Yeah. 
And so I didn't really feel like I needed to go back because I thought I'll come back here. But when I come back, I want to come back as a pop star. Right. You know, I want to come right. come back to New York as a pop star. Um, and so that's what I ended up doing. And, and it was a bit a bit risky, but um, but I feel like it was the right choice at the time. So yeah. 